Welcome back to our channel. Today we are starting fresh with a new garden bed, and we are going to try a method that is simple but very effective. The plan is to use three important ingredients, loamy soil, a small amount of crushed charcoal, and vermicompost. These three together make a powerful mix that can give plants everything they need to grow strong, healthy, and productive. First, let's talk about loamy soil. Gardeners around the world call it the best soil for planting, and for good reason. Loamy soil is made of the right balance of sand, silt, and clay. Because of this balance, it holds water well but also drains properly, so roots never sit in too much water. It is soft, airy, and easy for roots to push through, which allows plants to grow deep and wide. Loamy soil also contains natural nutrients that help plants from the very beginning. It is like giving the plants a comfortable home with both food and water ready for them. Now let's look at the second ingredient, crushed charcoal. Charcoal has tiny pores inside, like little sponges, and these pores trap water and nutrients. Instead of losing nutrients when we water or when it rains, the charcoal holds them for the plants to use later. This makes the soil more efficient and less wasteful. Charcoal also improves the soil's structure, keeping it from getting too hard or compact. But one of its biggest benefits is that it becomes a house for microbes. Microbes are the hidden workers of the soil, and they need safe places to live. The pores of charcoal give them protection and allow them to grow in large numbers. The third and most powerful ingredient is vermicompost. This is made by earthworms and is packed with nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, everything plants need for good growth. Vermicompost does more than just feed plants. It also makes the soil alive by adding millions of beneficial microbes. These microbes help break down organic matter, make nutrients available to plants faster, and protect plants from harmful diseases. When you add vermicompost, you are not only improving the soil, but also creating a living system that keeps working long after you've applied it. Once we mix loamy soil, crushed charcoal, and vermicompost really well, we spread this mixture evenly on top of the garden bed. After that, we sprinkle an extra layer of vermicompost on top. This is a very important step because it brings even more microbes into the system. These microbes will multiply and spread into the soil, but many of them will also move into the tiny pores of the charcoal. When this happens, the charcoal becomes activated. Activated charcoal filled with living microbes is like a long-term engine that keeps the soil fertile, balanced, and alive.
The final step is watering the bed. Water is not just for plants, it is also for the microbes. Without water, microbes cannot survive, and if the soil dries out completely, many of them will die. That is why keeping the soil slightly moist is very important, especially during the first week. If we water in the morning, the microbes will have enough moisture to stay active throughout the sunny day. This way, they will keep multiplying and filling the soil with life. The key is not to let the bed stay completely dry for at least seven days. If that happens, the microbes will die off and the charcoal will not get activated. By keeping the soil just a little moist, we make sure the microbes have what they need to keep working. Over time, this creates a living, breathing soil that can support plants better than any chemical fertilizer ever could. This method is simple, but it builds a strong foundation for healthy gardening. Loamy soil gives structure, charcoal provides a home and storage system, and vermicompost brings life. Together, they create a perfect environment for plants to thrive. That is all for today's update. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We will be showing you more methods for preparing beds and improving soil health, so stay connected and keep growing with us.